Burna Boy has been dominating the music scene in Africa and the UK, but what lies behind his vocal chain? We've done our investigation and replicated his sound using Waves plugins. This vocal chain takes a unique approach and there are some very interesting elements here, so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. We have the project here, it's an Afro pop song, let's take a listen. Teach me how to rock your bam body Everything about you is fine now, to better understand the context about this vocal chain, the information I have here is from the album called African Giant. Surprisingly, they recorded this album in a hotel room. Now, i done an extensive research and I found some very surprising stuff. So, the first thing to note is the microphone they used. It appears to be one of the Naima models, though I'm not certain about the exact model. My guess would be the U87. If you have any different information or knowledge, please share it in the comment section. So the signal goes into the Focusrite Scarlett. Yes, you heard it right. The exciting part is that you can potentially set up this vocal chain at home. All right, so let's jump into the interesting part. Jesse Ray Ernster, I hope I pronounced his name right, the mixing engineer of the album called African Giant, shared some key details about the lead vocal chain. He shared that he enjoys using a plugin called Galfos EQ to write the frequencies on lead vocals. For this, we have utilized our Waves Vocal Rider plugin. In simple terms, this plugin automates the volume adjustment, so let's listen to it. Everything about you is fine. With this plugin, we gained a bit of control over those dynamics and increased the gain to raise the overall level. The next plugin they prefer using on Burner Boy's lead vocal is the Fab Filter Pro Q3. Jesse mentioned that this plugin is used to reduce resonant frequencies. For this, we have an excellent Waves alternative, and this is the Waves F6 EQ. As you can see, I made a steep low cut here, but other adjustments happening within the plugin too. Let's listen to what it does. Me never gonna lie, oh now you didn't make my head of this well. You never gonna fall, oh cause you know me, I got your back. Teach me how to rock it, teach me how to rock your bam body. Everything about you is fine. As you could hear, we made some aggressive cuts, but it's needed for the better result. Next up, they are using the Acoustica Amber EQ, which is an emulation of the Avalon unit. They use that plugin to enhance the highs, and I found a similar plugin in Waves, which is the Mani Marrow Queen EQ. This plugin emulates various hardwares, but it's important for us that the high band emulates the Avalon unit. So let's listen to it. First, I'm gonna turn it off. You're never gonna lie, oh now you didn't make my head of this well You're never gonna fall, oh cause you know me, I got your back Teach me how to rock it, teach me how to rock your bam body Everything about you is fine so this has given us that shiny top end. Following plugin in line is the Soof 2. For this, I use the C4 to smoothing out the vocal. Me never gonna lie, oh now you didn't make my head of this well. You never gonna fall, oh cause you know me, I got your back. Teach me how to rock it, teach me how to rock your bam body. Everything about you is fine. With this, we arrive to one of the most important part, the aux channels. Okay, so the first aux channel is designed to add some grit. They use the Sound Toys Devil Luck, but I found on Waves an excellent plugin, and it's called the Magma Tube Channel Strip. We've added some heat with the drive knob, and we applied heavy compression. Let's listen to it. So first, I'm gonna turn it off. Me never gonna lie, oh, now you didn't make my head of this well. 
Next, we created some width to the vocal. Jesse uses the Valhalla Space Modulator. This is a free plugin, so this is why I've included it for you in the channel strip. But a great waves alternative is the doubler. So you can switch between them, whichever you prefer. But these are the original settings they use, so let's listen to it. We never gonna lie, but now you did make my head of this well. Never gonna fall home Oh, cause you know me, I got your back Teach me how to rock it Teach me how to rock your bam body Everything about you is bad Next, we have another important piece of information that Jesse mentioned. He does not use reverb on the lead vocals directly. He rather set up delay channels and he feeds the delay into the reverb. He uses different type of delays, including the Pro Tools stock, the Valhalla delay, and the H delay as well. So this is what I've done here. So first I set up the H delay, and that feeds into a reverb, which is EQ'd heavily. Okay, so let's listen to it. We never gonna lie, uh, but now you did make my head of this well. You never gonna fall home, oh, cause you know me, I got your back. Teach me how to rock it, teach me how to rock your bam body. Everything about you is bam. Me never gonna lie, uh, but now you did make my head of this well. You never gonna fall home, oh, cause you know me, I got your back. As you could hear, this channel creates the impression that the vocal has reverb on it, but the end result remains clean. To accentuate that, we added a slap delay with the reverb on it. In this case, we use the CLA Echo Sphere. Me never gonna lie, uh, oh now you did make my head of this well. You never gonna fall home, oh cause you know me, I got your back. Teach me how to rock it. Couple of important things to note. The first one is I've added a maximizer for you, so you can maximize the loudness of your vocal. After careful listening to the African Giant album, I've noticed that the vocal had different presence on different songs. This is why I set up this knob for you, so you can adjust the presence on your vocals, depends on the song you aim to emulate. So check this out. Me never gonna lie, uh, but now you did make my head of this well. You never gonna fall home, oh, cause you know me, I got your back. Teach me how to rock it, teach me how to rock your bam body. Everything about you is bam. Me never gonna lie, uh, but now you did make my head of this well. You never gonna fall home, oh, cause you know me, I got your back. So as you can see with these macros, you can easily adjust and shape your vocals without having to dive into each individual plugins. And there is a lot of happening behind the scene. If you like this vocal chain, don't hesitate to download it using the link below. By doing so, you will not only benefit from it, but also support the channel helping me to bring you more content on the platform. And if you are interested in learning how to replicate Justin Bieber's vocal chain with Waves plugins, then be sure to watch this video next. See you there!